Eight years ago, I had only one dream. I wanted to travel River Gambia in West Africa by kayak, so I set up an expedition. Together with my friends Musa and Jere, we traveled the river all the way down to the ocean. We spent two full months on the river and in the jungle. We were attacked by hippos and saved each other's lives a few times. This created a super strong connection between us. We have seen parts of the river that not many people have seen before. The river was amazing, but we also came across people that had to leave the lands. There was almost no groundwater anymore and the soil was totally degraded. There was no way to farm. This is where illegal migration begins for thousands of people living in West Africa. Back home I wrote my book about the expedition. I did research to desertification and how to restore land. I discovered that the massive deforestation is contributing to the loss of groundwater. In areas where many trees are cut, groundwater levels are extremely low. I developed a plan how to boost the local economy and how to prevent hundreds of people from migrating to Europe, but also a plan how to bring back groundwater and forest in areas that have completely died out. We knew we had to make a movie about the problems and to point out why this project is so important. So in 2020 I traveled back to Gambia. We talked to the migrants who told us awful stories about the slave trade in Libya. We spoke to mango farmers who are now cutting the trees because nobody is buying the mangoes. We talked to people who are now growing trees in an attempt to stop deforestation. We spoke to a lot of people. In this movie, we want to show you how directly illegal migration and deforestation are connected. Our solution is pretty easy. We want to set up a mango trade and processing facility to convert the enormous amount of food waste into a local economy. Yeah, here is my garden, you know, and you know, you can hear the cancer. It surrounded me, you know, around, surrounded me, there are people, uh, they are cutting the trees like seed. Definitely, this morning, you know, we just, we just made a visit last, last, uh, day before yesterday to tell people that do not to cut the trees, but you can, you can hear the cancer behind me. It surrounded me, you know, but, and after we, are, we wanted to go there to tell them to so then they can stop it. Because really we don't like no, no cutting trees around this area here, you know. As I film this so then I can show the owner what is happening here. You know, also we don't we don't we don't like it around here. Too many trees are just cutting around here. Oh fuck, Look they're starting your yeah, forest. They're man. starting my forest. My little small forest here, they are starting in Look at it. You know? Fuck in here. Shit man. This is my little forest here. Definitely I have a little nice little forest for that uh, for these guys. Coming. Yeah, this castle tree, you know, it's, it's, it's very old and it's almost almost 40 years now. This castle is here, you know, and it's producing lot of lot of lot of castles you know, during the castle time, you know. They are almost in the castle time, but they all they bring it, they 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 cut them down with a cancer, you know. You can see the fruits. This is a there's a castle fruit, and these castles are very very important, you know. Pe people really need them. You can eat them, and this casu they make gas out of it. You know, they make oil out of it. You know, they make, they produce a lot of things out of these casus, you know. And you know, when we lose this casu, we we losing everything. Definitely, you can hear the cancer. Yeah, you can see this mango also, you know. It's about 100 years ago. You know, it's a, it's a long time mango tree, and it's producing also a lot of mangoes, you know. Yeah, for the animals and for everybody, you know. So you see, we need to protect it, definitely. Yeah. Also, you can hear the cancer is still now. It's, it's noising around, you know, around my side. You know, all okay. these trees are... Yeah, all these trees are need to be protected, you know, definitely. Otherwise, they will cut all of the, all the trees. Mm. This one also is the same tree that we find there. You know, it's uh, netto. Netto, let me, it's, it's netto, you know, it's also... Oh, yeah, it's the same Yeah, look at it. They bring all these fucking things down here. 
We were just taking a small walk. Taking a small walk and then we found here. Also, it's a Kenso came here. They did. caught all this kasu tree here. A lot of money half waste. A lot Everything of things half waste here. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm really, I'm, I'm really sad, you know, even I saw this. I saw this, you know, I'm really sad. I'm really sad. I'm really sad. I don't know even what to say. It's all walnut trees? Yeah. But or uh, it, cashew nut? Cashew nut, yeah. It's, this is all cashew you are seeing here. It's about maybe about 50 to 70 to 100 cashew, cashew trees that they brought down here with a pencil. It's a big spoiler, you know? It's mm. a big waste. Mm. Now, this cashew is here, nobody will going to benefit here anymore now. And this cashew here, this cashew, all this area here, it's benefiting a lot of people, you know, because these casus, you know, the owners, they plant them, but they don't take care of it. But they, and they don't care, they don't worry when people come and pick the casu and then go and sell it and make survival for themselves. They don't worry about that. But you see, only one man now, he stopped about 100 people's survival. Only one man. We're not going in because yeah. of the snakes. The snakes, yeah. That's true. A little bit too dangerous, but yeah. you can see it's a few days. Few days, yeah. You can see the leaf. It's not even breaking. No, it's not even breaking. You can see the leaf. You can see the leaf of it. The castle is producing. Four. It's serious, huh? No. Huh? We can try a little bit to come there. Yes. Or is it too dangerous with snakes, you think? No, we can try some. If you see a python, just tell yeah. me. <laughs> wow. So, Katong used to be a very cold area, you know. It's not used to be hot like this temperature to have at 30, 31 degrees or 32 degrees. No, it's never been about around, around uh, like 25 years back or 30 years back. Katong, you know, in Katong area here, maybe here the temperature is very low. Normally, you think the sun don't come out. The whole day, you know, people are wearing jacket because of his cold. If you don't have sour by by two o'clock, you will not get sour anymore because it must be very very cold. Even the tourists, they tell they said, oh, it's very cold today. Yeah, because of you know, it's because of the system was very nice here. A lot of trees, you know, everywhere I was trees, you know. You, the temperature is very cool down, you know. But look at it now, cotton is getting warmer and warmer and warmer. And cotton is surrounded by water, you know. Yeah, you have the sea and you have the Hala Hill River, you know. That's why cotton is never be hot. But now we've got, it's only sea now. You know trees, they are trying to bring all the trees down. That's why it's getting warmer and warmer and warmer. And this is why, this is what we want to stop, you know. Because it's not used to be like this. Everybody in, in Gambia, if you said, oh, you are living in Katong, they said, wow, you are living in a paradise. Yeah, because of the weather. It was very nice and very, very, very nice to live. Look at it now.